Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I think most of you will recognize this colony already. Uh, the queen is in the back, behind of all the brood. But I don't know if you can see her. She is on the top of this cell, going upwards. So this is my arboreal uh, Campanotus lighty colony, a four-year-old colony, wild caught, caught in September 2018 after a big typhoon hit Macau and snapped the branch where the original colony was nesting. Uh, once fallen into the ground I was able to collect them. Back then I didn't know if there was a queen, but as you can see, four years later, this is what we got. Almost all the cells are totally filled with brood. Look at this. This is the fourth time in three years that they are producing elites. This year they already produced one time immediately after their diapause and this is the second time this year that they are producing it. So I am extremely pleased these pupae here are clearly elates. The, co the colony is doing fantastic. And it's probably my one of my most famous colonies. Uh, very particular, and also because it has been showcased on the National Geographic article about end keeping before. This wood nest, this fantastic wood nest, is made by Forento. We talked about this before and I think they are amazing wood and nests uh, especially good for arboreal species which are used to uh, nesting in, in dry conditions I don't know if you can see but most of these workers they are uh, into a semi-replete state in which they uh, gather all the water and nutrients from outside and accumulate them in their gusters especially the, the major workers as you can see here extremely dilated um, this is to compensate the dryness of the of the treetop, the canopies, where besides the natural rainwater, there isn't much, there aren't many liquids available, except those that come from uh, milking um, aphids and other arthropods for honeydew. I was hoping to give, uh, to show the queen more clearly there she is but I think because of the light she feels a little bit disturbed and is trying to hide from us so there she is a little bit great so the responsible for all of this growth and her empire Campanotis Lighty Queen so uh, like I said uh, this is the second time this year that they are producing elites and what I normally do is once I notice that the elites are ready to to fly to have their nuptial flight I will um, 
actually place them on this tray this is not their this is not their uh, outworld this is just a temporary outworld that I normally do um, so that I can make some video clips of them and also I use this to place them outside so that the L8s can be free to fly and mix with the wild populations I don't like um, to have a reductive or a reduction effect on the on the wild population so having the ability to introduce my own the alights from my own colony is a very pleasant feeling right I almost uh, so this is it for today's video I hope you guys have enjoyed let me show you a, a wider view of the nest here it is in, a, in all its full glory normally here in the top is their feeding station but uh, for this video I removed it the nest just to before I finish the nest has some uh, has been chewed already several times there are small entry points into the nest here and there this is the main entrance oh there's a light and a light over there this is probably one of the light uh, L8s of this year um, or no I don't believe because they just they just, just have been producing the the new L8s recently this should be the old one one L8s from after the diapause so yeah once they start a closing I will put them outside well this is it guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe, go check the blog, the other pictures, and and yeah, leave me any comments if you have, and see you on tomorrow's video. Cheers!